Right, here we go then. This is the poem about the seaside. It's called Glass Beach. Waves gently crash, distant drops, salty brine, and draw back sand. Beach pebbles rattle, the smooth curve and warm upon shoreline wash. People gossip, saunter back to bands for a standing oak. They scratch legs with push off hands on sunburned legs. They swim batter back to be served with chips and curry pot sauce. An alcoholic sea laps upon a beach, a glass of broken Clouds out of blue sky, way beyond the sunshine's route, and from entering down to our painted atmosphere. Onto a capitalistic spider as he spins his business web and branches into the system's crew. On a poor fly trapped in the bondage of regulation and eaten up in her own sexuality. But subversive winds of change blows through the branches and destroys the spider's web of game. Then crying rain comes roaring down, and the spider is washed up down into a muddy drain.
Bangs its head on smooth, hard walled corridors, and through an endless, hapless maze of dreams, life's dignity screams in silence. Something that she said, she had so much potential that sometimes went down. Life unburdened her to her. It really was a problem, but she chose to ignore it. Like clothes that don't fit, stubbornly she wore it. In a mad rush, she did a foolish thing. In a split second, a split thought of grin. An indecision made a split She opened up her mouth to articulate her voice. Across the switch of the room, sounds of the room. As the drink had sat, chatting, swapping through something. Okay then, here we go, sentenced to death. Hanged from the gallows of creative writing. Swinging from the gibbets of the sentence description. With a grammar that stands on the essence of her voice. The alphabet hung as a necklace around the vocality of her wordy neck. She wanted to swallow all the letters in quick succession punctuation as well. But that would have been suicide. 